606 this morning, and we continue our Buffalo Behind the Scenes series here on this Monday as we take you behind the curtain at Shays. News 4's Katie Alexander is live this morning, giving us a one of a kind look inside. Hey, Katie, good morning. Good morning, Jordan Mill. Last half hour, we showed you a place that the public generally doesn't get to see. It's where the stars get ready for the shows. Now we're showing you a place that the public hasn't seen in probably 20 years. This is Doris. She is the um, restoration con consultant. Excuse me. Where are we right now? We are in the lower level of the basement ladies lounge and it was an elaborate system of varying rooms. Obviously you have the facility where you need to go but as you came out of there you went into little tables where you could adjust your makeup. This wall which is coming down it was sealed off because we had it used as a the storage room. It was in bad condition. This will come out and then this continues into the lounge area. The ladies, as you can see, have two full-length mirrors. They can come in and adjust their attire. Then they would go through the other doorway in front of us where they could use a telephone. They had two built-in telephone booths. I'm trying to find replicas of old 1926 phones, but uh, we have a little time to do that. So yes, this was really in bad shape. So talk to me about that. What did it look like in here before you got your hands on it? <laughs> well, we had whole in the walls. I mean, literally holes that were deep enough that you could see the actual uh, fire brick and the scratch coats. And then we, of course, had to replaster it. The ceiling medallion was crumbling down. It was lower than the light fixture. So before it fell down, we had to dig it all out. And Buffalo Plastering made us a brand new ceiling medallion. It's a lovely filigree. There's actually a cold air return in here. So we obviously also restored the ceiling fixture cleaned it up, repainted where it was necessary. The walls at one time had had damask fabric on them. Huh. And uh, obviously through the years, they were torn down in the 70s when they were in pretty bad shape. So following the guidelines from the State Historic Parks Office, we were allowed to replicate uh, a fabric look with stencils. So the walls were stencils, uh, plaster was repaired, as I said. Everything else was given a fresh coat of paint, including glazings, and uh, furniture put back furniture put back in again. And it is absolutely gorgeous right now. This is one of many restoration projects that have been done here. I am so excited to show you around the theater for the rest of the morning. In the meantime, go to the Founded on Four section of our website, WIVB.com, to learn more about the Shays Performing Arts Center. For now, reporting live, Katie Alexander, News 4. Very cool. So cool to see a behind-the-scenes look of a place that so many of us go to to enjoy. That's right. So many things. We like these views. Thank you, Katie. 608 right now. Mike's back updating your